Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we are looking at a product called Rocket Nano. The packaging is pretty big, but I actually expect the product to be quite small. And before I go ahead and open this box, I wanted to kind of explain why I need this product or perhaps you need this specific product. Recently, I have received a question from my friend asking, hey, my Western Digital 4 terabyte external drive has passed away or it died and I happen to have an exact same device that is four terabytes and that coincidentally died on me recently too and he has asked me what kind of drive should I buy and in order to understand what kind of storage device that he needs I asked him a bunch of questions and I asked him do you need a long-term storage where you're storing the files in there and just looking at it occasionally or are you needing to access these files daily or frequently and always have it by you and I asked him what is your budget is it a couple of hundred dollars versus maybe one or two hundred dollars so that you don't want to spend so much on these devices what sort of the significance of the storage does it matter if these files just completely go away and it did in my case and all the answers that he has provided me gave me a good answer in what he actually needs so he wasn't looking for something to back up which is a long-term storage that you look in occasionally he was needing a storage that is smaller in profile therefore a lot mobile so then he can have it aside him all the time and access it all the time rather than just relying on pure storage on his computer and because because he uses a laptop he needed to access extra storage aside from just the laptop internal storage and he had a budget of $200 or a little more than that which was the price that he had paid for when he first got his 4 terabyte hard drive when it comes to the more permanent storage or bigger storage that you need on your premises, I recommend NAS setup, which is a lot more than a couple hundred dollars, which I have showcased on my video before. So you can certainly check those out. But in terms of storage that is beside you all the time and needing to access most of the time and being able to mobile, I guess the hard drive enclosures, which is one over here, is suitable. But they tend to kind of expire after some time. And I had this for maybe two years and accessed it very little amount of time but still just went out of business all of a sudden and that could be detrimental depending on how you are backing up. I had a redundancy of files elsewhere so yeah it died and I didn't really need to be so sad about it other than the price that I pay for this drive but eventually it will go and you need to have better backups for whatever important files that is beside you. And for a quick storage I carry around something like this which is a NVMe enclosure. You put NVMe stick inside here and then just carry around a short USB type C cable and then access your data. And it becomes a lot smaller than hard drive enclosures and it is much lighter too. It's much easier, much more durable. You can toss these things around whereas you do not want to do that on the hard drives. I prefer this solution over hard drives nowadays. However, one of the biggest caveat of this is the price. The NVMe drives that you put in in here are more expensive than hard drives. That four terabyte drive is probably about $100 if you were to get them on sale or maybe even less than that. Whereas if you were to get four terabyte on the SSD, I don't know, maybe that's five, $600. For two terabyte, it is about $200 range. And my friend wasn't really inclined to buy the enclosure and the drive separately and assemble. He didn't want to fiddle with all of that. And I could understand that, so I did didn't recommend that specifically. He wanted more of an all-in-one solution where you can just buy and plug in and then get your storage going. And that was a long-winded story time for leading up to this product over here. There are similar products out there, but this is something that I have experienced recently and that I really like. So I wanted to showcase 
this product here and Sabrent did provide this product over here for me to create video like this and explain you about it. But without further ado, let's go around the package over here. Sabrent Rocket Nano USB 3.2 external aluminum SSD, two terabyte capacity. I believe there is 501 terabyte model available as well and they are going to be cheaper than two terabyte model. And I think this is just north of $220 us and it is m.2 ssd mvme therefore it is fast drive and going around the box over here features extremely fast transfer speed up to 1000 megabyte per second read or write and top to bottom 6061 aluminum alloy construction so i guess it is durable optimized passive cooling with integrated temperature and health monitoring advanced wear leveling and bed block management so these drives itself does have some management on top of just the pure storage which is maintaining the durability of actual drives software wise and the package contents are external NVMe SSD drive and then USB type C cable and then USB type C to type A cable and note this external SSD will work with both USB type C and Thunderbolt 3 computers okay sounds good let's go ahead and somehow open this slide it over and the packaging is really nice it does have a metallic finish on top although i think it's plastic inside it is metal outside and it does have blue accent all around which is my favorite color very nice over here is the cables so you can see that it is usb type a to type c and then this one over here and this one is USB Type-C to Type-C, therefore I'm going to use that more often. And then here is the device itself, quite small as I have anticipated. And it's got the soft silicon cover on top to make sure it is not scratching up other devices whilst it is inside of a bag. I like that, but you can take it off if you would like. So it does have aluminum metallic finish better for a heat dissipation and these devices do heat up if you use it for a prolonged period of time for high speed data transfer and it's got USB type C port on one end and perhaps an LED indicator letting you know that it is working and I can somehow put this back in in there and there is a Sabrent logo on the hole there and i guess this side lines up with usb type c port therefore you can just easily plug this in and then you can just connect it to your computer so in terms of usage that's going to be really simple i mean you just connect onto one of these cable and connect up to your device in terms of usage you just use one of these cables and hook it up to your machine and you are good to go and i'm just going to connect onto my computer over here so i can test out the speed speed of this device. So for those of you who care, the read and write speed of this device, at least on my testing, the read speed is about 998 and the write speed is about 955. And the actual speed may vary depending on the machine that you try on and the specific USB port that you try on. However, that is plenty fast enough for my daily use getting a couple of data out of this storage. So this device is definitely going to live inside of my bag and the two terabyte is more than enough for me you can perhaps get lesser than that to save on the dollars if you just need extra 500 gig or one terabyte or so and i'll leave the links in the description for you guys to go ahead and purchase this one as well as other capacity of this device i really like the size and you can have so much storage on such a small form factor yeah it is much more durable than any other hard drives that you have by. I don't really trust to carry around that anymore. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If you found it useful, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.